<laughs> Never satisfied. Well, that's human nature for you, even if you're a penguin. You're absolutely right. And now, Donald, let's hop over the Andes. From these snow-capped peaks to the depths of the Amazon jungle, one finds many more strange and exotic birds, like the Anabe Preto of Colombia and Venezuela. He carries his own bagpipes hidden under his beard. Then there's his cousin, the Arapapa, pride of Paraguay, whose perfect appearance permits his pompous pride in his pompadour. And La Tijerita, the scissors bird. The Colombian Cutter. Then there's the Arapasu, the Bico Curvo. He's always sticking his nose into things. Did you ever see such a freak beak? Huh? Speaking of beaks, what a time two toucans have making love. When they're beak to beak, they can't get cheek to cheek. Because when one toucan turns his head, only one toucan can. Oh, a thousand pardons. Senor Donald, I would like to have you meet one of the most eccentric birds you have ever seen. His name is the Araquan. You'll find him most everywhere. Guess who? Now, he's called the Araquan because of the peculiar song he sings, which sounds something like this. By the way, amigo, did you know some birds are skilled craftsmen? Uh-uh. I -uh. so. Yes, quite a builder is the little maraquito. His nest may look haphazard in design. Ah, but every single stick and straw is scientifically placed to withstand the stress and strain of... Well... <laughs> Almost anything. Literally dotted are the shores of many tropical marshes with the brilliant plumage of the flamingo. And now, Donald, how would you like to hear a story about another bird so amazing you won't believe it? Oh, sure. You bet. It's a tale told by an old gaucho from Uruguay. Listen. It was early one morning in springtime, just as day was beginning to break. As the sun came up over the... Oh, but I'm forgetting my story. It was silent out there on the pampas. Only one little bird was awake. From his nest came the little ornero to see if the... Oh, say, do you know why these birds call the ornero? No? <coughs> why? You see, his nest is just like the orno. That's the oven where we bake our bread and our... Oh, 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 you know who that is? That's me, when I was a little gauchito. Many, many years ago, of course. And why was I up so early? Because I was going out hunting all alone. First, I put on my bombachas and tied on my shiripa. Then I slipped into my new botas. And I put my boleadoras where I could reach them in a hurry. Gauchito, not forgetting my hunting knife. And now I was ready to go. Ah. Now, the best place to hunt the wild ostrich is out on the wide open plains, on the broad, flat land of the... Flat land? Say, what am I doing here? Oh, now I remember. This day I was hunting for condor birds high up in the mountains. While looking around for the condors, I climbed to the top of a rock. No, come to think of it, it was a tree. Let's see, maybe it was a rock after all. Although I could swear it was a tree. Ah, oh, what's the difference? Let it go, let it go. My sharp eyes soon discovered the nest of a... Psst, The nest. El Nido, El Nido. I could tell from the wings he was... He was at least five meters from tip to tip. 
The biggest condor bird in all of... Caramba! What's this? I couldn't believe my eyes. No, it couldn't be, but there it was. I was looking face to face with a flying donkey. The donkey bird didn't seem bashful. He flew right up close to... Quick, Gauchito, now, get him, quick! Aha, got him! Now, now, easy, easy. should be worth a fortune. I couldn't let him get away. So I made up my mind that I'd catch him if it took me the rest of... Ah! Now I had him! Hold him, Gachito! Ride him, cowboy! He acted just like he was loco. But I was an expert, of course. He thought he could throw this Gachito. But he soon found out who was the boss. Gachito, who is the boss? I decided to train him for racing far out where nobody could see. Because I plan to win thousands of pesos for this little burrito and me. I made brilliant plans for the future. We'd live like a couple of kings. And I'd be the world's richest gaucho. With my hands full of big diamond rings. Ah, macanudo! Okay! This burrito was tame as a kitten. He was learning new tricks every day. You should see how he'd beg for my mate. He liked it much better than hay. <coughs> then we soon fell asleep by the campfire. We both were as tired as could be. And tomorrow was very important for little Burrito and me. For this was the day of fiesta. The gauchos were happy and gay. They danced the zamba and gato and gambled their pesos away. While the crowd sang and danced in the plaza, I just stood in the shade of a tree and watched them toss coins at the sapo. But this game meant nothing to me. Some others were rolling the bochas and betting on games of this kind. But I didn't join in these pastimes. I had something bigger in mind. A caballo! The race was about to begin. And the grand prize was 1,000 pesos. <laughs> the gauchos were howling with laughter when they saw us come out on the track. I whispered, remember the wings, Burrito? Oh, 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 not yet, not yet. The gauchos and horses were all on their These toes. First Nargen! We were off with the speed of a bullet. We flew down the track like the wind. Every gaucho was, uh, uh, meanwhile, Burrito and I were, uh, uh, jockeying for position. Psst, Gauchito, they went that way, that way. No wonder they laughed. I didn't even look like a jockey. Hey, Gachito, come on, look like a jockey. Pepito, the pride of Mendoza, was setting a furious pace. And Fuego, Gordito, and Bingo, you never have seen such a race. Now it's Pepito and Fuego. It's Fuego and Pepito. And here comes Gordito on the rail. Do your stuff, kid. No? Well, don't wait too long or... Look out! Uh-huh. What did I tell you? Come on, Gauchito, the wings, the wings. Quickly, I untied the rope. Come on, come on. Quickly, I untied the rope. Huh? The knife, the knife. Cortalo, Cortalo. And now we... All range mode. Shh. 
and now down the home stretch comes Fuego. Now Pepito's ahead on the rail. Here goes Pingu, Granito, and Gato, and Dorado is right on his tail. But where is Burrito? Here comes Burrito! We passed them like they were standing still. And now coming down towards the line of finish, it's Burrito, the winner! Well, amigos, it was all over but the shouting. I thought, uh-oh. -uh. Caramba! The jig was up. What became of the flying donkey, you ask? Neither him nor me was ever seen again as long as we lived. Adios, amigo. Adios. Watch Tabagatha!